mechanical issues seem to be his downfall. You know, he looked like he had Ireland in the bag and it just fell apart with a gearbox failure. He's coming in very hot here. Is that the clever move from Dwayne McKeever? He goes in very late, very wild and very, and makes it work. Dwayne McKeever making it look easy compared to everybody else, but this is where everyone's been struggling, not Dwayne McKeever. Wow, this is unbelievable from Dwayne McKeever. Tags oh, the wow. wall. Dwayne McKeever is flying through the circuit here, and this is a very strange move, oh! but he's going to spin it out, but he keep it oh just about. He was on the edge of Most failure at the McKeever edge of his Laurie Hardin sits with 91. So here we go, Dwayne McKeever has got to get it done here, cannot afford any mistake. No, he can't, and he goes right to the edge of the circuit. He's on the handbrake, he's got the spoiler over the wall, he's got the back bumper on the wall, he's got the wheel almost into the wall, and now he comes away, and he looks for that inside zone, he's got it absolutely dialed, and McKeever hesitates a little bit there, but now he opens the throttle, gets to the wall, down the hill, over the compression, no wheels off circuit this time. For Dwayne McKeever, as he fulfills the outside zone, goes back bumper to the wall once again. That's enough, it's definitely enough. That's enough for him. Yeah, he for takes it looks a little bit more relaxed to me, looks a little bit more chilled out. I think he says, I've got nothing to lose here, so he could be dangerous. They get the green light, it's go through the gears. As Dwayne McKeever flicks that one of the SX across the circuit, bang on the handbrake, back on the throttle he goes, into the wall, nice lead line so far from Dwayne McKeever, but Ite Sada is right there on the door, and he hunts him down, they come through that inner zone across the circuit. McKeever on a flyer, this is an absolutely beautiful lead line, but he cannot shake the young 17-year-old as he fires onto the door once again. Ite Sada firing it down, wow. this year, onto the door. First wow. If he's not with that bright purple and pink BMW by the end of that first corner, he's out here, so he's got to go for it. Yeah, they are, they go for it, fire it in, a nice initiation from Ite Sada, but Dwayne McKeever left it a little late, I think he thought he was going to mess that up, but now he starts to work it in, now he starts to gain that proximity, and McKeever needs to make a move here, he needs to make a dive, and he does, as they go to the wall, McKeever adds some proximity, waits for the transition, but McKeever leaves it late, and McKeever now looks like he's a little scrappy, he doesn't have that same proximity as Ite Sada takes it oh. across the line. Well, that is not... What I expected from the second half of that run, it looked to me like you, you talk about McKeever and fight. He's yeah, every single step of the way, McKeever's still in the fight for the championship. Third at the moment, can he hold on to it? Second, sorry, at the moment, can he hold on to it? And he felt the pressure from Oran Nilsson, but Nilsson dispatched off in top 32. It's time for McKeever to shine as he goes for it, fires in a big handbrake, drag down onto that second outside zone, puts it in. Oh, and Correa almost put himself into a spin there. Had to back out of it now, gets himself back into it. McKeever looking rock steady in front, though, as he transitions. Now, car, both cars almost stuck on lock there. It looks like they didn't want to transition, but McKeever backed out of it onto the wall there. Thought he was going to make contact. Now, transitions down over the bump he goes. Starts to put a little bit of ground between himself and Diogo Correa. But Correa now back into the fight, looking for the side as McKeever puts it up on the wall and just fires the sun out in full effect. The place starting to heat up on track and around the town as they come through the gears now down. McKeever looks for the back bumper, lets Correa do his initiation. Very slow, a lot of handbrake in there from Correa, but he's in the wall again and disposes of even more body panels. And he's in the wall again, he's wobbling and wavering. McKeever has to shallow up massively as they come around. Big angle dialed on from Correa, but McKeever way on the wrong line there in that inside zone. How a judge is going to dig that one as Correa comes down, looks for the transition, times it perfectly, but he's a little shallow. He's on the wrong line coming into this outside zone, and McKeever's having to deal with it. This is not the best lead line from Correa as they get up close and personal yeah. on the wall. If Shane no, wants to get back in the championship, he's got to beat McKeever. That's what's on the line here. That is what's on the line, and they're off the line through the gears down. Look at Shanahan, he's hungry for it. McKeever goes very wide and fires a car early on initiation, looks for the rear wheel, and Shanahan. And shut the car Shanahan's down. got a problem. Shannon has a problem. The car did not. I noticed on the look at the punching the steering wheel is Connor Shannon. He cannot believe this. And I'm going to keep talking. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure whatever he's saying in that car is not uh, safe for PG television right now. And I'll tell you what, he came into the first corner. It was a very strange initiation from Shannon because he never really went on power at all. On the car. He was, could be anything, Dave, from a, a two euro part to yeah. a 2,000 euro part. We so don't Dwayne know. McKeever, I'll tell you what, right now is going to go into that top four. He gets the Byron and he does his job of getting in there. And you know what? He goes for a big run oh, to wow. McKeever. Absolutely no need to do this. But why wouldn't you get an extra practice lap if you? can get it. Yeah, I mean, look, if he stays like this, he'll want to do it because he knows that there's some heavy hitters coming up in the rest of the competition, and if he can pull this one down, if he can feel a little bit more confident, gain some more seat time in that car, why not Why not go for it? Yeah, McKeever only had to pull the handbrake through the first corner, but he's confident in the car, he's confident in his ability, gets another run on the board, and we're going to have the first of our semi-finalists confirmed very shortly, officially, the from the judges. And look, it's Shanahan with the 2J. North and south of Ireland go head-to-head -head here in Finland as Jack Shanahan leads out McKeever. Yeah, through the gears. McKeever goes for a big swing across the circuit. He's going to dive. A 
cross into outside zone two and Shanahan's on that deep line. Will on the wall as he fires through, disposes of the towel line. McKeever now goes for a dive on the inside, hops over the curve and trusts Shanahan onto that wall run. They fire down with incredible pace into these outside zones and McKeever goes for a brave one. He knows he needs to be on the door across the line. Yeah, and an angry Shannon could be a good or a bad thing. But for Dwayne McKeever, it might mean he, he might have no doors at the end of this one. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Look at this. Shanahan down, looks for the back bumper, fires it in, but doesn't shortcut the circuit. Keeps within that proximity. D, uh, Dwayne McKeever on a wide line. Shanahan now starts to gain on him, starts to push as he transitions through. Sh uh, Shanahan onto the back bumper as McKeever fires down, goes super wide. Just what the judges wanted to see. And Shanahan comes through the smoke. He needs to be on that front wheel and he stalls up. Oh. I was just about to say, they look angry because they're ready to slot these cars into gear. It is the final of round three. Here we go. Through the gears, down through the start line, and Shanna, they fire a big angle. I thought it was going to spin. Laurie Hyden made no sense. Dwayne McKeever deals with it. As Laurie Hyden now absolutely nails the throttle through the floor, but there's no shaking. Dwayne McKeever as he transitions behind. Laurie Hyden and down into the second to last outside zone. Hyden and goes for the wall. This is a stressful one. Heinen's got to pull out some magic here. He's got to go for it. He's got to find something else here against McKeever. And McKeever's got a fast start. Yeah, he has, and he's gone for it. He's put on a big angle initiation, but can he hang with it? And look at Heinen, and he's closer than McKeever was. He's onto the door, and he comes through the smoke, and he bounces the curb, and he uses it to push him onto the door of McKeever's S13. And now Heinen looks once again. Will he get lost? Oh, and he doesn't. He's closer than McKeever. Oh, he's on the door. What is happening? As good as you can ever see in a chase run on a track that nobody could find proximity on. Heinen found proximity. Heinen.